Chapter 6, Part 2, Bonding in Complex Ions. This is the difference between strong field ligand and weak field ligand. For the strong field ligand, the electrons of the metal ion pair in the lower energy T2G orbitals. So here is the energy level. So here is the T2G, the lowest energy level for the octahedral so for the strong filigans tend to form their magnetic so meaning that you need to pair up the electrons so here the electrons of the metal ion pair in the lower energy t2g orbitals strong filigan can be low spin have few unpaid electrons so we see here the delta is the crystal splitting energy so here we see the eg level with the t2g so the delta for the crystal field splitting energy is large so compared to the weak field ligand the electrons will occupy all five orbitals before pairing occurs. So here, this is the 3D6. So start here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. So meaning that you need to occupy all five orbitals before pairing occurs. For the weak filigan can be high spin which is have more unpaid electrons. This is the example. Iron forms an essential complex in hemoglobin for each of the two octahedral complex ion, hexa aqua ion 2 ion and hexa cyano ferrite 2 ion. Draw an orbital splitting diagram predict the number of unpaid electrons and identify the ion as low or high spin. So for the orbital splitting diagram, so this is referred to the CFT, crystal field theory, for the weak or strong field ligand. And this is how you answer the question. So here is the weak field ligand. How you know this one is a weak filigan or strong filigan? So you must remember these trends. Which one is the weak filigan and strong filigan? For the halogen, we look at the iodine, chlorine, fluorine is the weaker filigan compared to the cyanide ion and also the carbonyl. This one is the strong field ligand. So we just write this one is the weak ligand or weak field ligand and this is the strong field ligand. So we know strong field ligand tends to form the diamagnetic and for the weak field ligand tends to form the paramagnetic. And find the oxidation number for the iron, both iron. So here the iron positive 2, same goes here, positive 2, and do the electron configuration for the iron. And this is the orbital diagram for the iron atom. We know this is the positive 2. So positive 2 here meaning that we lost 2 electrons. Now, this is the 3D. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, in the ion 2, consists of the 3D6 orbital. And now, we know this is the coordination number is 6. This is the octahedral. So, if the octahedral splitting diagram is the EG and T2G. We know this one tends to form the paramagnetic. So we know also this one as the weak filigan. So you need to cover 
the electrons for all orbitals because this is the 3d6 so you need to fill one from the lowest t to g one two three you cannot pairing this one because this is the weak filigan paramagnetic so you need to give one one electron okay you need to cover all the electron for all orbitals okay because this one 3d6 so one two three four five and the last one pairing with the first one orbital so this one six so now how many unpaid electrons so you only count this one one two three four so this one pairing so four unpaid electron so we know this is the weak ligand so this is the high spin and the delta is small for the strong filigan for the orbital splitting diagram also same with the hexa aqua ion 2 ion because this is the octahedral same here also octahedral so t2g at the lowest energy level so because this one strong ligands tends to form the magnetic so pairing so pairing is more strong than single so you just remember like that okay so strong filigan they have the more than one so pair two so here we need to pair for the the lowest energy level t2g so here we start with the one two three four five and six so when you calculate the unpaid electron zero so meaning that no unpaid electron so the strong beacon is a low spin and it will have the delta large color many transition metal compounds absorb visible light in a process that promotes a d electron from lower energy d orbitals to higher energy d orbitals color in transition metal complex is due to an electron being excited from one d orbital to a higher energy d orbital this one is electronic transitions color as dd transitions a color of a substance appear when it absorbs visible light at certain wavelength color observed is complementary color of color absorbed no visible light being absorbed is appear as white or colorless different complex exhibit different colors because color of light absorbed depends on delta magnitude of delta depends on ligon for the strong filigan the delta is large and weak filigan the delta is small magnitude of delta also depends on metal so this is the color so here is the shorter wavelength and here is the longer wavelength so when the color observed is violet so the observed color is the yellow color so this is the color wheel if the observed is the blue color so the observed color is the opposite one is the orange color so here is the ligands so this is the strong filigan and this one example of the weaker filigan so this one halogen here is the weaker filigan smaller delta absorb light of longer wavelength lower frequency low light energy high spin and this one is tends to form paramagnetic and for the stronger filigan larger delta shorter wavelength higher frequency high light energy low spin 
and tends to form the dye magnetic. This is the example of the questions. Consider hexacyano ferrite to complex ion. Predict the observed color of the complex ion if the observed color is violet. So we see here is the observed of the violet color and the observed color is yellow color. The example given hexaamine cobalt 3 ion and hexa aqua cobalt 3 ion complex. The optical UV visible absorption spectrum can be used to identify these two solids. So this is the wavelength A 600 nanometer and the color is orange and this one is the wavelength B 475 nanometer blue color so for the shorter wavelength this one so refer to the strong filigan so we know this is a strong filigan so hexaamine cobalt 3 ion is the wavelength B and for the longer wavelength is the weak filigan for the hexa aqua cobalt 3 ion decide the complex ion that absorb wavelength a and b respectively and justify your answer so for the amine ligands stronger ligand therefore will have the larger delta large delta will absorb light with higher energy and shorter wavelength. Aqua ligands, weaker ligand, therefore will have smaller delta. Small delta will absorb light with lower energy and longer wavelength. Magnetism refer to the VVT, valence mode theory and also the CFT, crystal field theory. Low spin complex contain more paired electrons so are more often diamagnetic or weakly paramagnetic so we know this is diamagnetic pair refer to the strong field ligand likewise high spin complex usually contain more unpaid electrons thus are often paramagnetic so this one refer to the weak field ligand so this is the low spin complex and this one is high spin complex